How to prepare the four financial statements in Excel using pivot tables? This question has been answered. In previous videos, we have prepared the four financial statements in Excel using pivot tables. We have also prepared the break even report, charts, budget, and financial analysis. It has been an interesting trip, but the last detail is still missing. What if? Do you need to prepare the annual report? Do you need to present the economic and accounting results of your organization with the highest level of detail and transparency? Do you need to have a permanent archive of all the accounting, budgetary, financial and management information of your SME available for subsequent audits? In this video, we will show you how to generate an annual report with this application. We will also comment on four examples or tasks which will reveal to us how this application is an effective business analysis tool. Let us begin. The first step is to make a copy of the file of our application. We change the name and from now on to make our report we will only work on this copy. Enable macros and on the data tab click refresh all. Then go to the presentation sheet. At the bottom click on the ungroup button which is on the left. Click on generate the report. Write down the two passwords that will appear. Go up and unprotect the sheet. On the view tab, select the headings option. Select the upper left corner, and delete the entire contents of the sheet. Then, you can write all the information concerning, your annual report. Highlight the mission, and vision of your organization. Mention the objectives achieved during this fiscal year, as well as, the objectives and goals set, for next year. In the task, number 1, randomly, we will select the sub-account, coffee expenses for the administrative office. For most of the year, the expenses of this sub-account are around $190, but, in month 10, this expense doubled. In this situation, the question arises why? To answer this question, we will review the records of this sub-account. On sheet 10, we press Ctrl F, we write coffee, and then, enter, so we look for the records of this expense. Two entries were made, in the journal book. We read the explanation of the entry, and, this leads us, to the subsidiary book of office expenses. In the month 10, coffee was bought twice. We review the payment invoices scanned, and, converted to PDF files. 
We asked the administration and they answered us that that month, an accident occurred in the kitchen, a technician who repaired an electrical connection on the roof, slipped off the extension ladder, and threw the shelf, where the coffee packages were. All packages were broken, and new packages, had to be purchased. Now, let's analyze the direct material costs, sub-account, electronic measuring equipment, in most of the months, this sub-account remained stable, but in month 12 it shows a strong increase, could it be another accident? Let's investigate and compare the sales, costs, and net income of that month, with other months of the year. As for sales, month 12, records $193,888, ranking first in sales. In the case of the costs of goods sold, they were $61,952, ranking second in costs. For net income, the 12th month is located in the 9th position with $50,352 of net profit for December. Let's see the partial income statement for month 12. On sheet 0, of the chart of accounts, we change the approach from accumulated to partial. Then on sheet 1, income statements. We choose a specific month, for this case the month of December. In the data tab, click on refresh all, and here, we have the partial statement of December results only. Now, we are going to determine the gross profit, of the electronic measuring equipment sub-account, so, we are going to know if the high level of costs, observed in December, decreased this profit margin. As we can see, in December, the gross profit of the sub-account of electronic measuring equipment was 71%, a good percentage. In other words, the increase in direct material costs is directly related to an increase in the value of sales. To have a broader perspective, let's determine the gross profit of electronic measurement equipment for the entire year. We go to the chart of accounts sheet, we change the approach to accumulated. We refresh the pivot table and repeat our analysis. But from an annual approach. During this year, the electronic measuring equipment sub-account registered a gross profit of 51%. This confirms that the month of December, with of 71%, was very good.
Now, let's compare these percentages. With the gross profit of the company, taking into consideration all goods sold and all services rendered. This percentage was 67.88%. A very interesting analysis, that will lead to other adjustments, measurements, and decision making. Now, that we have completed our, preliminary analysis, we will summarize all the information, of our financial statement, to a more usual level, select the necessary columns, go to the data tab, and click on group. Then, select a cell in your pivot table, and go to the Analyze tab, then, in the Active Fields section, click on the minus sign. Task number 3. Determine if the hiring of two new employees, during the second semester, brought a positive or negative effect on the revenue per employee financial ratio. On sheet C, we find more than 30 financial ratios, when you place the mouse on them, its concept and its formula are shown. All financial ratios are very important, but there is one that sometimes is not mentioned, the income per employee, in this example, a factory has 60 employees, but, from the sixth month of the year, it hires two more employees. As we can see, in this preliminary analysis, this financial ratio indicates that this hiring produced a revenue increase of $222 per employee. A very interesting fact, which can be analyzed more deeply. Finally, the analysis of cash, in bank accounts and in petty cash. To determine the veracity of these amounts, we are going to look for bank statements, bank reconciliations and cash register certificates, all printed on paper signed and sealed and with the authenticity characteristics that are required. But, for this preliminary inquiry, we will verify that these documents, at least have been scanned, and are available in PDF files. Then in a full audit, we will seek to verify its physical existence and its authenticity. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video, leave us your comments, visit us on Facebook, and give us a like.